What's up, Dragon Brood? Today should be a lot of fun. We're going to play Gruel. We're going to play some Smuggler Surprise. But this kind of brought me back to the beginning of the Thunder Junction season, right? There were some cards we played with, like Surprise, we put into a bunch of different decks. But there's a particular build I didn't come back to. And honestly, it might be better with the new cards because of birds and bats particularly. It's something with Reach and it's Cactus Folk Sure Shot. This is a card that kind of has been overlooked. But the fact that it has ward and it has reach and it's a 4-4 that gives our other big things haste is probably where we want to be with these particular decks. So I do want to give this card another look and see how it sizes up now and if it's in a good position going into this next set. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck. We've got a smuggler surprise. Obviously, this is kind of going to be key to the deck. We do have a bunch of mana creatures here with some bramble familiars. We were filling out our 60th slot with a loam speaker. We also have Ruby Daring Tracker. So lots of ways to get mana in the early going to make it easier to cast some of our big spells. Now, this is a little contrarian that we're going to be playing, I actually contradictory, that we're playing Brotherhoods in because it does work against problematic decks where we're talking about mono red against the Boros tokens and sometimes even against the synthesizer decks if we need it. But if we have to wipe out our early stuff, that's okay because our big stuff just packs a bigger punch. We do also have a copy of Gwena, which can help us cast some of our bigger creatures. We have Outcaster Trailblazer to get some more cards. The sure shots that we were just talking about. All of this obviously works really well with Terror of the Peaks, especially if you get any of these with Smuggler Surprise. But then we also have some other creatures with Reach here in Brawler and Vorinclex, both really good for helping the deck just finish things, but also just giving you that extra Reach and even Trample to help punch across the finish line. We're also playing a couple of Trumpet and Carnosaur, double duty as removal, but also letting us just get another big creature, hopefully. And of course, Vaultborn Tyrant, because if you're going to be doing all the ramping, you might as well just be playing the thing with the most value at that cost. Now, like I was mentioning before, this deck is going to be rotation ready. So if you want to build this because you already have most of the parts, go for it. You won't be wasting wild cards. You'll still be able to play it into the new season. And I'll have this available for download. The link will be below to take you to a channel sponsor, Moxfield, where you can download this and play it for yourself. And I'll even have a playlist linked with a bunch of other stuff that is rotation ready. So you can check out 20 plus decks if you're looking for something to play. For now, though, let's go see if Cactus Sure Shot is a sure thing. Okay, we're gonna keep this. Like, double Brotherhoods in isn't really what we want, but probably fine. Hey, I'm also gonna play a Ridge Line. Look at that. Well, why does this feel a bit scary? Yeah, they hit their ramp cards before we hit our ramp cards. That's, that's not good. I'm assuming we're not blocking with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Oh, they're doing Jenny Faye things. Well, that makes sense. Actually, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, enough sense that I'm actually just going to Brotherhoods in. And uh, I might as well attack. There's a good chance they just block here anyway. But we're not doing anything else with our mana. Hey, we got a free point. All right, cool. Let's destroy everything. All right. I mean, they might still just play, like, land into Rabble Rousing or something here. That would be gross. Oh, all right. All right. When it was about to get dirty on that turn with the Jenny Faye, that was about to be gross. Okay. Uh, I hate being that guy, but, you know, this makes the most sense here. They're probably thinking, what kind of red-green crap is this? I was like, yeah, I don't blame them. It's it's a weird situation. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and play this. Have a bigger creature. Go get some lands. And then we can play Surprise and a Carnosaur plus Sure Shot. Man, Pona's deck is wild. Like, they're doing some things over there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Because there's a lot of value to be had here still on this turn. Because Sure Shot gives other stuff haste, we potentially get some cool things here. Oh, another Sure Shot. Hey, that attacks. Which gives each other trample. 
Uh, that's 13, 21. Well, that's lethal. You got to block something. <laughs> like, like something's got to go to work. All right. They're just going to take the hit here. Cool. We'll take that. We get to go first and we will keep this. I mean, even if we don't get anything, all we do is draw an untapped land and we can still cast stuff. So, uh, assuming that Ruby dies. I tend to always assume that my first mana creature is just not going to survive. And then it's the one after that we potentially get to keep. However, in this case, that might not be a problem. Scrap Gorger. All right. I think here it's willing. We're willing. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, all right. Well, then I guess we just sure shot. I was about to say willing to risk playing the terror there, but uh, I was one mana short. I was thinking too far ahead. Oh, are they doing dinosaur things or do they just are they just making mana? That's the thing that can be hard to figure out sometimes. Ooh, we aren't quite there yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and play this anyway. Because we do get haste with it. And uh, we'll get our attacks on. Alright, opponent's already at 10. Yeah, they gotta do something big this turn. Because we got creature lands to attack with. We've got smuggler surprise to kill some. Okay, so there's their surprise. Uh, they don't have any f thing with reach. I think we're good. A couple of ways, really. But I think here, we're just going to do this. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, the other option here was just attacking because we just give the plus two to the terror. Even if they block a four and a three, they take seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like, yeah, we had it, we had it covered a few different ways. All right, let's gamble up here. Let's see what we can do. I mean, it doesn't do a lot. I mean, we obviously need to draw a lot of land for this to have any real value, but we got one there, and that's a start. And somehow Bramble Familiar didn't die, so that's nice. Okay, let's attack these and see what's up. Alright, we'll just tuck that away, I guess. Tapping for colorless to play an iron crag. With no mana up at the point. What does this mean? What does this mean? Alright, I guess I gotta go for it, right? You only have red mana available, so sure. We at least get a card and get to attack. Uh-oh, what's happening here? Oh, fires of victory. Wow. Okay. That's definitely a thing. And now they're going to wipe out our board. Makes sense. You know, we need to draw like our big 6-6 six -six here. That's not it. One, two, three, four, five, six. This would be seven. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I don't think I'm going to get to resolve the Vault Born Tyrant, but we're going to hope for the best, really. Otherwise, we'll try to live on uh, Merrick's tokens for a little while, probably. They can also just destroy our Merrick's. Okay, they're casting something here. And using all their blue mana in the process. Leaving open only the demolition field? Oh. Okay. 
Sure. Yeah, that works. Still a little confused by what's going down, but hey, maybe that's all they have in hand. Or maybe they just need all that mana for next turn. I mean, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But yeah, fortunately, as much as I'd like to play, well, let's see, two, four, five, six. Yeah, I have to play this if I want to get the Vault Born Tyrant down. Okay, get a couple of cards and some life. Okay, good news. We got some more creature lands, and we got a search spell, effectively. So, maybe we could do some things. And the opponent's at 10, so they've got a real... Or 12, so they really got to do something here. Granted, they have a bunch of ways, I'm sure, that easily kill the Trailblazer. So, I assume we're not going to get to attack for more than 6 right now. Alright, well, there's one way to get rid of a Trailblazer. Though they might go hunting for cards here. Nope, they're just going to get rid of that. So that's kind of good for us, that we're not worried about a pile of cards from them. Uh, yeah, we'll attack. And we'll just play this tapped, because why not? In the turn. This is good too now, so we can also protect our 6-6. Six, six. We can, oh. Yeah. We can still protect it, but that guy's an 8-8, eight eight, right? So we can't punch past it. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Let's mill and protect our thing. Okay, those are things. Ah, man, if we could have found a smuggler's... Well, actually, actually, if we find... I need another untapped land. But if we find a sure shot off of this, we did not. I was going to say, sure shot would have let us attack for, for lethal and would have been great. But uh, I guess no attacks. Oh, wait, no, we attack because if they block, then we get a 6 6 that we just terror the peaks them. That's awesome. Yep. Didn't even matter. Cool. We'll take it. You know, before getting into more games, I'm just thinking, like, Brawler is probably not what we want. We probably want more Carnosaur, because I think this deck is going to be lacking a little bit of removal in spots. I think that's going to be our big issue. So I'm tempted to even cut, like, Vorinclex and maybe even the Gwenna, even though she's helpful, and put in... Actually, the Loam Speaker can probably go. We haven't even drawn Loam Speaker in any games yet, I don't think. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, where we can get just a little more help. Like, another Brotherhood's End is fine. But, like, if we cut Gwenna, we cut... Vorinclex. How many creatures does that still leave us? Probably a lot. 25. Yeah, that's a lot. So then we could play something like Charm, I think. And this gives us flexibility to go find our big creature, you know, whether it's a sure shot or a terror, whatever we think we need. This can also let us fight some things. It can destroy artifacts and enchantments as well. So maybe, I think, honestly, I wonder if we have anything that's gained life in green or red particularly green that would be useful here but i don't other than like small stuff like tough cookie i mean i guess we could cornucopia that's actually realistic if we want to do that for some matchups and buy ourselves a little bit of time there's also ancient silverback i mean silverback elder which we are playing a ton of creatures <laughs> So this does work, and it's only five. So if we wanted to gamble there, this is probably a reasonable spot against quite a few builds, actually. So yeah, let's do that. Let's just go ham on some craziness, and we'll, we'll play some Silverback Elders. And uh, see if this does what we want it to do. This feels a little, a little crazy, honestly. I, I think I'm pushing a little too hard here, but we'll find out. 
Ooh, okay, let's try it. Let's try it. This feels like a, a why not type situation, right? Oh, is this going to be some type of mono white controly type situation? If so, we got it. We're going to have to be real creative here. Don't know what this is going to look like. I mean, we can queue up a bunch of like trailblazers to eventually do something awesome, but I'm not sure if that's the best place for us or not. I mean, here's the other thing, right? If we queue up a couple of trailblazers and then we were to like cactus folk into trailblazer, trailblazer, something like that could be kind of a crazy turn too. I wouldn't be mad at that. All right. Uh, all right. Let's trailblazer. Pass a turn. This... Oh, man. Okay. So next turn, we can straight up play Terror. Caster, caster. Have two mana. That's not going to do much of anything. I'm kind of wondering what their hand is here. Farm hand. So they're just going to draw a card. They're going to flip the wedding announcement. But then what? And the other odd uh, situation is like, well, I guess we wouldn't empty our hand because we'd have that doubled up. I mean, okay, sure. I could have done this in a different order, obviously, but we're going to try to maximize these. All right, so let's kill one of these because we're not going to kill them anytime soon here. Even if we deal the eight, that would be silly. Get green from the first one because we will get to draw a card here there's a lot of things happening okay that's not a bad thing and pass the turn so now if they sweep the board here and we just get an untapped land we could smuggler surprise into some crazy stuff Eternal Wanderer, you got it. I've made it just in time. I'll finish this. So you can now. let me get, keep either of these, and I am more than happy. Okay. So we didn't get our lands. So now the question is, do we I think we just Hmm. We can kill this attack. Is there anything else I'd rather do here though? Probably not. All right, much as I would like to have the actual action here, I think this is the best thing to do. Would have been sweet, though, if we could have got away with that, because, man, during their instep, if we could have got this, another creature, the Vaultborn Tyrant, got all those cards, oh, that would have been so good. All right, Wandering Emperor, you got it, friend. Yep. All you. I am almost sad to see you go. And a farmhand. Sure. What are the odds I could get a... Uh, well, nah. I wouldn't be able to get both of those. Ugh. We needed, we needed a land there. And I could have used a smuggler surprise to protect our creature last turn, but... I think I'm more in the headspace right now of just how do we get our other stuff into play and try to get some value out of all this. And for all we know, they're playing Sudden Showdown or Final Showdown or whatever that thing is. Oh, really? Just making another 2-2 two -two here. Well, 3-3, three -three, but I guess they wanted a card? Huh. Yep. More stuff for you. Interesting. Not quite what we want. Hmm. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Maybe this entices a sweeper to come from their side. Man, we're just here just waiting on one land. Like, that's all we're doing. 
Especially if it's an untapped land, because now during their end step, we could fire these off, and then on our turn, hopefully have something else worth doing and just get a huge, big attack in. Yep, you got it. Cards for you. I mean, we'll block, because why not? Gonna knock out blow, sure. Why not? All right. Oh, dang it. <laughs> like, Okay, well, this is going to kill our other future plans, but we're just going to do what we can do here. This is so weird. This, this feels like we're way behind, but I feel like we're literally one turn from potentially flipping this whole thing. Which is just so wild. Yeah, like, I actually don't mind that. Like, that's fine. At some point, they're going to want to sweep the board, though. Which I'm sure they're setting up for. And even if they... Well, depends on how they decide to destroy the board here. I was going to say that we may or may not actually want to save our sure shots. But we'll see. I think we just let the sure shots die. I don't know. Maybe we just take two damage from the... What? Elspeth? Okay. Yeah, you got it. How do we die from here? I mean, I think we just take the four, right? If they attack here. it's We're now in a, like, it's not worth the risk type situation. I mean, for all I know, though, they have a bunch of proper spot removal. Like, this whole thing could just be insane. Oh, they have to discard. Okay. I wouldn't even think about them also having that stuff. Which actually harms them way more than it does us. Actually, does nothing to us. So that's good. Alright. No attacks. They're going to destroy our Restless Ridgeline. Which makes sense. But at some point, if they don't think they can finish us... They will try to sweep the board, but let's see what kind of instant speed removal things they have. Because that's what we're going to find out real quick. Good news is, with 7 mana, we don't lose anything immediately. Because we can also pay the extra one to give stuff X-proof and indestructible. And they're probably going 15. This is just what we do right here and the game's over. Which, technically, they're mostly right. They're just making one safe attack. All right, cool. We can live with that. Uh, yeah. We could block, but we're going to choose to not block. And we're going to do this. Put these two knuckleheads into play. And this is our best bet. We need these draws to just be hitters. Oh, no, no. Actually, wait, Brotherhood's in. Hold up, hold up. Brotherhood's in's totally legit here. Quite possibly one of the better, best draws we could hit. Restoration makes a token. Oh, no, that just gets a land at this point. Yep, 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 yep. Wrong one. Double Brotherhood. Well, we won't be doing that. All right, so if we cash Brotherhood's in, we have one, two, three, four, five left over. So... We could follow up with the Terror of the Peaks. And that would be 12. 25 would be lethal. Uh, Alright. Deal 3 to all creatures and planeswalkers. I mean, they obviously can have another Wandering Emperor. Who knows what here, so... I'm not going to gamble on it being over just yet. Wandering Emperor. To pump... Some token, I'm assuming. Alright, that seems fine. Probably the lifelinker. Yep. It does give it first strike as well, so that puts our uh, 
cactus folk at risk. All right, so they have multiple life linkers. So now I'm forced into kind of a situation here. Do we go in and just risk wasting our vault born tyrants? I think we just attack and try to protect the vault born tyrants. I think that's the game we're playing here. All of these have trample right now, but then they also can gain nine. So that kind of messes up our math. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send one here. And we're going to send this, this, and this all here, I think. Does that do enough? Like, is that, do we feel good enough with that? I feel like we want Wandering Emperor dead for sure. All right, I'll accept that. I don't love it. I'll accept it. And, like, it still makes sense for them to at least attempt to block here. All right. So then we go here. We search. We give our stuff indestructible and hexproof. We will take a Carnosaur and a Tyrant. Or a Terror. Okay. So if there's a sunfall or a farewell, this is where we're going to see it. If it's anything else, we don't care as much. Because while a wandering emperor is annoying, it's not world ending. All right, wherever we get you two more bodies, that's legit. Yep, we take six. Okie dokie, here we go. Deal three. I'm sadly going to waste one of these, I think. Actually, no. Let's attack first, since we have Trample anyway. And we can kind of force them to dedicate their Wandering Emperor or whatever first. That's where we're going? Alright. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, if they have a Wandering Emperor, they give that first strike, they kill a Tyrant. Like, yeah, exactly. I figured something like that was coming. I almost passed priority, but I wanted to try to get the most I could out of that. But this isn't the worst thing. Like, we can live with this scenario, actually. We gain some life, get a couple cards. They still take a solid amount of damage here. Okay, we'll play that. Um, ooh, do we just waste this Bramble Familiar to kill? Oh, I can't, 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 that wouldn't do that. Um, damn, 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 damn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we could double Terror next turn. Just trying to think, like, how do they win here, right? They're going to have to play multiple tokens to not die or wipe the board anyway. So yeah, we just let it go, I think. I think that's the plan here. Because if they have a Sunfall or something, they're just going to have it, right? So it's not going to matter. Sure. Just one you don't love, but I mean, if they got it, they got it. Yep, we assume that was happening. You're done. Now it's what is the rest of the hand? Ossification. So that gets rid of our 6-6. Six, six. All right, we're still okay with that. At least for the moment. 
Elspeth sadly is going to give them lifelink, so now that causes a different issue. All right, so we take seven ten. Seems fine. Sadly, this can't hit. Oh, it does hit Planeswalker, so we could just take out the Wandering Emperor. I guess I should have. I can do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. I'm just trying to think like what next turn looks like. Like I could terror, terror, or we could just. Arnosaur, kill, Wandering Emperor, hmm, a lot of choices, a lot of choices. I think I'm going to, yeah, let's just take our turn. Oh, well, never mind, that makes our decision so much easier. <laughs> I was, here I was sweating what we're going to do, I, I didn't realize it was going to be like this. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have four mana. So we could terror, terror, play this, deal four, and that's ten. Yeah, all right. So we'll play this. Actually, what's it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. And we can still leave two? Yeah, I'm okay with that. So we just need to do this and this. And we're good. Also, the opponent given the Yorgo, you deserve to die like this opponent. I feel no remorse in this scenario. To the face. To the face. To the face. All of it. To the face. Yeah, buddy. The fact that this was able to hold up against a deck with multiple cards. You're talking about Farmhand, Revelry, Wandering Emperor. I thought there were, oh yeah, Knockout Blow got played as well. So it's like lots of stuff. Actually, even what's on board. You know, like this isn't going to be standard legal anymore with Wandering Emperor. So yeah, the fact that we survived all that and the majority of their deck is not going to be standard legal, including Architect of Restoration. We'll take that. That is a good, solid win. Mm, man. All right, I'm going to keep it. I know I'm not supposed to. We need to keep a mana creature in this type of hand, but I'm probably just going to plot the Trailblazer and then just hope we draw something great after that. I don't really know. My plan hasn't gotten much further than that. Yep, you got it. No trickery here, opponent. No! Oh, of all the things they could have hit, like... Ah, uh, maybe they just take our Carnosaur, but still. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I'm kind of hoping they take something that's not Carnosaur. Oh, they took it. All right, fair enough. It was the right call. All right, so now here's our new plan. We want to draw another land untapped. Get this queued up, and then see if we could just do some crazy stuff with Smuggler Surprise. Because otherwise, I, I don't think we can win. <laughs> okay, hey, if we can get an untapped land next turn, we, we might be going bananas. We might deck ourselves, actually, drawing too many cards. Yeah, you got it. I mean, we have to draw an untapped land here. Like, this, this is everything right now. And we need them to not discard our Smuggler Surprise. So if they have another bat, we're just dead. Like, I knew this was a risky hand, but... All right, here it is. Do we get... We did not. Gosh dang it. Oh, that sucks. So now, what's our best option? We could... Play a blazer into blazer, but then we... They likely are just holding removal, so we don't even get that. Yeah. Sure, why not? Keep the pressure coming. Hand attack Numa just for sport? Sure. Just get Liliana? Why not? 
Yeah, that's tough, man. If we'd had an untapped land, I think we'd we'd be a okay right now. But right now we are we are not doing well. Sadly, we kind of have to waste that here. Still taking four, going to eight. I have to discard, unfortunately, probably the sure shot here. But that's scary because then they could just potentially play that next turn with the tiny bones. Uh, we are just up against it here. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're at one. So if they can pump anything, we die. Oh, jeez. What are we going to do here? I guess we have to do this so we can find a land. All right, so we got a land. And a sure shot. I don't think the sure shot matters greatly. I'm almost wondering if I just take two lands here. But no, I'm going to do this. All right. Pass the turn. If they have another Sokens, then we're dead too. Okay. Well, all right, we're dead. GG's. I mean, we just didn't draw land. Like, uh, that's terrible. Rough way to lose. Oh, this is a terrible hand. Let's mulligan that. Let's keep this and probably put one terror back. So, like, in a pinch, if we have to, we can maybe use the Carnosaur for something. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play that. Doesn't really change anything from here. Only time I've seen this is when it's been vampires. But it's possible there's some, like, weird build that has a Rowan or something. Alright, so we go to 18, they go to 19. Are they going to kill our Bramble Familiar? They are not, but we probably want to kill that just the same. I think I will go ahead and use this. I could have let them get rid of it and then just Brotherhoods in as well, but we'll see how this goes. We might end up just Brotherhood's ending this turn anyway. Eh, that's not quite enough of a reason to just yet. Okay, well, we can get that much value for it and then just play Terror after the fact. Because now we can't play Terror anyway because it just died the Harvester. So, yeah, I'm willing to attack here. Sure, you got it. Hey, we still got one point for our trouble. Sounds great. All right, now we got to draw hot off the top of the library, though, because at some point they're going to have real removal cards. What does that guy do? Sacrifice an artifact or a creature, gains indestructible, and tap it. Okay. Is that a removal card, or are those removal cards? Or are they all just more creatures that happen to be vampires? What's wild is we can't even block the 3-1 here, because if they have, like, Baron of Markov or whatever that thing is, they'd be able to just discard it. Okay, well, they didn't have it. Dusk Legion, sure. Okay. Things have slowed down for a second, so now, now we have a chance to catch our breath. And we can protect Terror now, which is nice. Uh, let's kill this, because that stands to have the most value. 
And I'm not quite going to attack yet. I'll start attacking next turn. Likely. All right, they're going digging. And an Epicure. All right. Sure. Go to 14. I will use this to go search. Ew. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I need more to have seven. All right. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to take these two. We're just going to do it the hard way. Why not? That randomly lets us put... Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it. I was also just realizing that last game, we could have got a Brotherhoods in, too. That would have been nice. But we didn't, so this is what we're doing. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Don't know if it's going to be any good here. Maybe it just gets to block something, but... I have a feeling we're just going to use Trailblazer here on the plot. Oh, that creates a big problem. Brotherhood's End's not going to get to do very much. I wonder if I attack here, if they'll block. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they will, but I'm like, maybe they block here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Even if we got... I mean... All right. Let's see. I don't think they'll block. And I don't really want them to either way, but let's do this. So here's the plan. We get an untapped land. We're just going to go for Vaultborn Tyrant Carnosaur. If we don't get the untapped land, then I think we just Brotherhood's in and we just play a longer game. All right, so it was Audacity. That's a green spell. That, unfortunately, is a red spell. And now when they play Rage, we're not going to be able to kill the Druid. Oh, do they not have it? All right, well, we did not get our land that we wanted. Though, to be fair, playing Outcaster Trailblazer wouldn't be the worst thing, but... All right, well, they can save the Druid, so that's probably it. We'll just queue up the GGs. Yep. Because I'm pretty sure we don't win from here. All right. Yeah, anything that pumps kills us. So. All right. GG's. We're dead. Ooh, mulligan that for sure. This is better. I think we just do it like that. All right. And then play Familiar and hope for the best. We know Familiar's dying, right? Because they had that weird pause, which means they got a burn spell. Also means we're going to have to play... Oh, they didn't want to kill it. If they have that, but... That changes things. I would say we're going to have to save Carnosaur to kill something, but... Now we also have the ability to play a blocker. Let's see what happens. I mean, they could also make that four toughness very easily here. A couple of different ways. But first thing is, is it unblockable? It is not yet. Okay, that's the good news. Yeah, because we'll block and trade all day. Yeah, that's fine. And then you get a 2-2 two -two or whatever when that thing dies. Sounds good. Actually, hold that thought. If we go to 7... Mm, nah, we'll just block it. We'll just block it. I, I'm messing too much if I do that. Like, not much reason to do that when we have the hand we have. So, sure. We'll just pass. 
Because even if we end up having to block here, we're okay blocking. Godric, we don't like that at all. Uh, then that'll get plus two, plus zero. Okay, sure. Ooh, could we... No, I don't have enough to activate and still use that. All right. We block. And then we shoot the... Actually... Yeah, I'm just trying to keep off max damage, but I, that's a little too defensive of a block there, though. I think we could have just taken four and been fine, really. There wasn't a need to do all that. Whoops. I think I could have just blocked with a 3-4 on Godric, went to seven, still left up the other option, and we could have just played, like, two blockers here, which would have been totally acceptable. Oh. Here comes Witchstalker's Frenzy. Oh, they can't Frenzy, though, because they still need four mana. Interesting. I guess we try to take out the Swiss Spear? I don't know. Probably a bad block. Okay, that worked out fine, then. Yay, sure shot for eating all their mana. <laughs> we like to see it. But yeah, if we'd have played the other guy, like, we definitely could have just been safer taking the four there. That was a little bit, uh, like I said, too defensive of a play. Hey, we finally drew the silver back. Or s Let's see now. Now we just got to draw creatures. And we got seven toughness. Yep. This is why Silverback was just a stone game ender. Like, <laughs> just get that, and they're just like, all right, we can't punch past that ever. Like, that's awesome. Especially when we have Brotherhoods in, because then we just Brotherhoods in. Now we have a 5-7 forever, or any creature is four life and a blocker. So, yeah, good stuff. Ooh, okay, sure. Let's do it. Let's find a forest to at least make us feel somewhat good about this hand. I don't even know if we could beat this deck. Like, I think we beat it once before, but I don't know. We'll see. Probably going to start with us getting at minimum another land. So we could tear into something and have some kind of action here. But they're probably just going to sweep the board, I imagine, next turn. So I don't know if tear is the right call or not. Like, weird as it is, I don't think tear is the right call, but I think it's the call. So, here we go. I mean, at least if they sweep the board, they don't get all these lands back, right? Okay, that's a thing. Can we still produce enough lethal here? Right now, the answer looks like yes. They're at least forced to block. It's not lethal, but... It is a real situation. So we kill Nyssa. Kill yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this works. Just get all the blockers out of the way. Oh, we don't get all the blockers out of the way, actually. But still, kill Nyssa. Well, okay. Yeah, that was going to be kill Nyssa, then play the other ruby, which only deals one, but you just hit the opponent for an extra point. Then just slam in with everything. They can block four, and then they take five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, yeah. We were kind of covered. Even if we shoot the opponent for four here, I guess we're fine. Because then they take five in the air. Block, block. Take another three. So that's eight also. Yeah. So either way, I guess we were covered. Okay. So as it turned out, everything kind of sort of worked. The only the only things I would say is there were times we it felt like we kind of needed a, 
another mana, you know, more often than I liked. And we are playing 25 lands, but maybe it just needs a 26th one, you know, and just might have to be that way. Maybe it's another forest just to have it. Maybe we can go another Myrix if we just want to have more tokens against control matchup type things. I don't know what it needs to be, but I do think it needs one more mana source. We could have went with an extra, you know, back for the loam speaker, I think is possible if we want to do that. So we have more early mana creatures. But regardless, the deck has to get to three mana. Everything kind of gets unlocked when you can either Brotherhood's in to get rid of their stuff and or play an Outcaster Trailblazer, right? At least plot it so you can start setting up other things. I think once we get there, it's fine. I mean, because we have a lot of threats, obviously, at 27. And you need to get to six for Smuggler Surprise. So having another land, I'm going to say we go to an extra forest. I think that's fine. Because we don't want too many lands coming into play tapped early either. Because you do want to play one of your early mana creatures if you have them. But yeah, this worked. Surprisingly, Sure Shot was better than anticipated. Both because of the ward, slowing the opponent's turns down, but also there were times, I think like the last one, where we just went, okay, play a creature, play a creature. Now those things have haste, right? So even if they get a removal, you're still getting value for that new thing you played. Whether it's a terror, whether it's a carnosaur, whether it's a elder, like that makes a big difference. So I could see this being a thing to play. Like I said, because of bats, because of birds, you know, whatever, people will be playing those on the ladder once Bloomboro releases, and having more stuff with Reach is fine. Kind of the same reason I think Silverback Elder is kind of good, because gaining that extra life is a big deal in those creature fights. There's also the possibility that you'll want to destroy some of these uh, classes and different things that are enchantments, so that's a big deal too. So overall, I think it has the right answers. I think it's a little light on mana, unfortunately. I think, like, realistically, this is almost like a 27 or 28 land deck to make sure you hit three every time. But I just don't think we can afford to do that. So we're kind of leaning a lot on these, these two and three mana cards to get us where we want to go. But when they do, things are great. When you miss mana, it sucks. You know, that's just kind of what it is. But yeah, I don't have a problem with this deck. It was fun. Uh, good version of Smuggler Surprise, and we stole some wins a few times, right? Maybe you could play another Carnosaur in place of something if you're missing one of these other cards. I think that's reasonable, but overall, I didn't mind it. The list, though, is going to be four Smuggler Surprise, four Bramble Familiar, three Ruby Daring Tracker, four Brotherhoods Inn, four Outcaster Trailblazer, four Cactus Folk Sure Shot, Four Terror of the Peaks, four, two Silverback Elder, three Trumpeting Carnosaur, three Vaultborn Tyrant, four Mountain, nine Forest, four Car Copper Line Gorge, four Carplusion Forest, four Restless Ridge, and one Merix. However, if you wanted to go to two Merix instead of a Forest, I don't think that'd be the worst thing either. Totally doable. But as a reminder, if this isn't your jam, don't forget we have 20 plus decks that are rotation ready. You can just click the link over across the way. It'll take you to our playlist. You can check that out. Also, if you want to see a sweet deck with Watley that we almost never get to play, you can check out that video next. But that's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.